Welcome to the world of isopods. So I have hermit crabs. Aren't you just the cutest? But they're really messy, and I have to clean their food or just whatever scattered remains that they leave behind. And I don't want to do that. So what we can do is have a cleanup crew. So a cleanup crew is pretty much your own terrarium janitors. They eat the food particles that are found inside the terrarium and any remaining debris. So I caught some isopods. But what is an isopod, you might ask? Isopods are an order of crustaceans. So think of like your lobsters and crabs. They have two antennas, joined to legs, and a an hard exoskeleton. And it doesn't help that they're oh so cute. And the really cool thing about these isopods is that they breathe really quickly, they're great janitors, and they are kind of like an enrichment item for hermit crabs. So pretty much they can get chased and eaten. That's why I have a 5 gallon prepared for them, so that they can breed to a nice size and then I'll release them into the environment. Many people refer to them as roly polies, pill bugs, potato bugs, wood louse, etc. So what's the correct common name? It actually depends on where you live. Especially in the US, different parts of the country say different names. I personally like calling them roly polies, but that's because I'm originally from Georgia, or maybe I'm just a little childish. Lots of people think of these guys as insects, but while they're similar, they're actually more related to crustaceans like crabs or lobsters. The closest they get to insects goes all the way to the phylum called arthropodas. In arthropoda, the main characteristics are invertebrates that have segmented bodies and jointed legs. They also have a hard exoskeleton made of something called chitin. The cool thing about these guys are that they're crustaceans that have adapted to live on land. If you look under them, you can see little gill-like structures. We call them pleopods. That's why you see them mainly in moist areas like under moss or rotting wood. They need that moisture in order to breathe. You can tell the males and females apart by looking carefully behind the legs. In the females, there are brood pouches which they keep their babies under to keep them safe. I hope you enjoyed this mini episode about isopods. Once I get them to start breeding, I'll have a more updated video. For now, Peace.